all right everybody now we are heading towards the end of this series of feature selection in the previous video we are done with elastic net next which comes in this series is tree based feature importance finding the feature importance basis on the tree based techno uh, techniques like decision trees and the random forest so under this segment we are going to take example of decision trees and random forest let me take you to the jupiter i'm okay before i proceed further i'm assuming that you already familiar with decision trees and random forest just in case not then i'm going to drop the link of these two videos separately into the description section just check that out and let me know in the case of any question and confusion okay now let me take you to the jupyter notebook quickly and help you understand how to achieve this so here are the dependencies that we have now these two things which which we require for this implementation first one is decision tree classifier which you can find in tree module of sklearn next one is random forest classifier which you can find in ensemble module of sklearn let's move ahead and over here we have this data frame which has 31 columns and the same one we are considering in all of the videos under feature selection almost all of the videos right now out of this data for not first one maybe it could for you it could be in anywhere in the sequence for me it is the first one this particular column is for target features right this one is set of independent features now let, let's just go ahead and because we are going to do the tree based uh, thing right this doesn't require the scaling of the data so let me directly jump to the train test split part here i'm going to say train test split and into that again i will hit shift plus tab and from here i'm going to copy the syntax right from here let me do this cleaning a bit all right this is done train test split is done now i'm going to create two instances for one is for decision tree the other one is for random forest let me just say decision tree d tree and here i'm going to say decision tree this oops, decision tree classifier and then rf r forest r forest all right and here i'm going to say random forest classifier both of these two instances instances are created now next thing is i'm going to train the model right so let me just call d tree dot fit and inside that i'm going to put x train comma y train and this is done next next training which i'm going to do is for random forest just don't get confused if you want to do one only you can of course do that but here i'm going to i'm taking both of these two in parallel so that's why it is happening so right and inside this again i'm going to consider x train comma y train now because our purpose is to find the feature importance not going to get into the prediction and all those things both of these two are trained now let's try to find the feature importance for d tree dot let me just find feature importance over here you see here is what we got let's see if i can get the feature names features max features we don't have that uh all right let me see i'm trying to find that if that's something which is going to get long then i would leave that so these are uh, these are all set of features it's not simply telling you the importance of this against it but you can achieve that okay now but before that let me give you the importance of random forest importance that we have got let me uh, repeat this again okay d tree d tree dot feature importance this is what we are getting and for random forest let me see what is it that we got random forest dot feature importance this is what we are getting okay so random forest looks like more you know lenient compared to the decision tree okay because in decision tree it, for many of the features it is saying zero uh, zero importance while decision uh, sorry random forest seems to be giving some level of importance to each of the features now let's try to map each of these two against the features okay so for that here i'm going to say create another object feature importance importance and i'm going to take this here let's say okay features 
comma d importance which means here i'll take the importance from decision tree and here i'm going to say rf importance importance let me just quickly copy this all for this in zip i'm going to concatenate all these three so first of all here is my data set you see x out of x i'm going to take set of all the features which is x dot columns this gives me all the features from the data set next thing which i'm going to do is take this one for decision tree right and then this one for random forest i'm putting this one for random forest that's it that's it let me just try to run this okay we got this feature importance let me copy paste it so that we avoid the spelling error here's what we got for all of the features right now i'm going to convert this into the data frame and here i'm going to say df equals to pd dot data frame so for for your information i have already imported pandas over here and defined that as pd okay so that's where when i say pd that means i am referring to pandas over here now i need to supply the set of column names over here so i'm going to say columns and inside that i'm going to say this these are the columns i'm going to keep the naming convention same as it is now features and this is decision tree importance and this is random forest importance right now let me just try to print this data and let's say head so here is what we got right let me try to sort this data first okay sort values by and because here we are going to do the sorting on decision tree importance as well as a random forest importance both so that's why i'm going to supply both of these two in form of list and here i'm going to say ascending equals to false right now let's just see how it goes how it goes now i'm going to take top five only so here is what we got these are the set of features which are going to be considered most important from decision tree uh, point of view for random forest again you need to do the sorting work basis on this only or we can just say let's say 10 features okay so here is what we got okay so i hope this clarifies how you can find the feature importance finding it with decision tree and random forest is relatively easy because that they themselves include one function which is called importance which we just saw and that's how it becomes simple so i hope it was clear for you to understand just in case of any doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to uh, answer that and with this we are done with this complete series of feature selection and uh, uh, i highly encourage you to go ahead and make use of it thank you very much wish you very very good luck